Cane toads are a dangerous and invasive species that you're going to want to look out for. But beware, as these aren't your average backyard toads. Cane toads are highly toxic and pose a threat to you, your pets, and local wildlife. So in this video, we'll go over some essential tips and professional products that you can use to keep cane toads off your property. Hi, I'm Colin with Solutions Pet Salon. If you're new to us, we create these videos to help educate people like you about DIY pest control. For the professional grade products shown in this video and to learn even more about cane toad control, click the icon on the top right of the screen or click the links in the description below. We're not exaggerating when we say that cane toads are extremely dangerous to both humans and animals. Cane toads can secrete a corrosive toxin during all stages of their life cycle, from egg to adult. In order to control these toads and keep them off your property, you'll use a combination of integrated pest management, or IPM, and regular pest control to ensure your lawn remains an unsuitable habitat for cane toads. And keep in mind that our tips and products won't directly kill the cane toads, instead, it's going to take care of their food source, giving them no reason to hunt on your property. Links to all the products shown in this video can be found in the description below. There you can find more about each product and watch videos on them. We'll also have timestamps below, so feel free to skip around. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to the wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. It's especially important to distinguish cane toads from other native toad species. Many homeowners regard native frogs and toads as beneficial animals anyway, since they eat many pest insects around your lawn. But cane toads are the opposite of beneficial because not only will they eat insects, they'll also eat native frogs, other toads, snakes, or any other animal that will fit in their mouth. Cane toads are the largest true toad in the world, with most adults growing to about six to nine inches in length. Many toads won't grow any larger than about three inches. Cane toads have dry, bumpy skin that can range in color from gray to brown. Males have a more yellowish tone, while females tend to be darker. Cane toads have hard, prominent eye ridges that join at the snout, and most importantly, they have large, triangular glands behind their eardrums and above their shoulders. These glands produce toxins when the toad is either mishandled or threatened, so be careful if you've spotted any. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Cane toads are nocturnal, so when you start your inspection, be sure to do it outside around nighttime, as that's when they're most active. You're going to be looking for the cane toads themselves or what's attracting them. Be sure to note how and why cane toads are on your property. Like all toads, cane toads need a moist environment to survive. If there aren't any obvious bodies of water on your property, then there may be parts of your lawn that hold excessive moisture after rain or irrigation or there may be sources of stagnant water, such as pottery after rain or an unused, uncovered pool. Be sure to note potential hiding places like underneath yard debris, leaf litter, and wood piles. Check your fence for any holes or openings that may allow toads to invade. Also note if you have any patio lights, since these may attract the insects that the cane toads will prey upon. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. And remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Before you start, calculate your treatment area's square footage by measuring the area's length and width and then multiplying them together. You'll use this to determine how much product you need to use. To keep cane toads away from your property, you're going to use two pesticide products to treat their food sources. The first is a granular product called Bifen LP. Bifen LP is a granular insecticide that's labeled to control a wide variety of insects for up to 90 days. We recommend you apply this product with a broadcast push spreader to make this application over your entire lawn faster. On a residential lawn, apply the Bifen LP at a rate of 2.3 pounds per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Load your spreader with the proper amount of Bifen LP based on the size of your treatment area and evenly distribute the granules. Broadcast half your granules in parallel lines once across the area, then broadcast the other half at a perpendicular angle to cover the area in its entirety. Once you finish your Bifen LP application, it'll need to be watered in to activate the granules, but also help push the granules down to the soil level where pests will be harboring. You can do this with a liquid pesticide called Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a bifenthrin liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to treat over 70 different insect pests for up to 90 days. Reclaim IT is a liquid concentrate, so we recommend using this alongside a 20-gallon hose-in sprayer so it can mix with water and be applied at a high volume rate. 
To control most insects on your turf, apply the product at a rate of one fluid ounce per 1,000 square feet. To use the 20 gallon hose and sprayer, remove the reservoir from the nozzle. Make sure the sprayer's control valve and your water pump are off, then attach the nozzle to the hose. Add the proper amount of Reclaim IT based on the size of your treatment area, then fill the reservoir with enough water to treat the entire lawn. To make sure you thoroughly coat the area and water in the bifin granules, use at least two gallons of water per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Double check to make sure your control valve and water pump are still off, then attach the reservoir to the nozzle. Once you've ensured a tight connection, you can now turn the water on. To spray, push forward on the control valve. To stop, simply pull the valve back into the off position. Evenly distribute the entire amount of product over your treatment area to control insects. As you make your application, keep an eye on the amount of product you have left in the sprayer's reservoir. When the liquid in the reservoir runs out, no more product will be applied. Remember that this is all an effort to effectively control the insects that the cane toads feed on. If you remove their food source, they have no reason to be on your property. Once you've finished with your Reclaim IT application, be sure to postpone any regular irrigation or mowing for at least 24 hours. Also, before applying, make sure you apply on a calm day when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. Click the links in the description below to visit our website where you can get these products and more. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. The first thing you can do is address the moisture levels around your property. This may involve raking and aerating your lawn to improve the soil's drainage, picking up debris, or you can trim back any overhanging tree branches to reduce shade and encourage water evaporation. If you keep man-made sources of standing water, like bird baths, drain them when they're not in use. If you have a pool, keep it covered to prevent any toads or insects from infesting the water. By reducing your lawn and property's moisture levels, you'll make the area less suitable for cane toads and they'll go somewhere else. If you have any outdoor lighting, you may want to consider turning them off at night. Outdoor patio lights attract insects, which cane toads will feed on. Once you've noticed a significant reduction in cane toad activity, you'll want to go through and repair any holes in your fences that may have allowed them to enter in the first place. You can do this with regular repairs or a fine copper mesh. Visit our website to shop for these products today. With our professional products and tips, you can stop toxic cane toads from invading your property, and we offer same-day shipping so you can get control quickly. Solutions is a small, family-owned business, and we rely on referrals from customers like you. So if you like this how-to guide and when the products work for you, please share and tell your friends and family about us. I'm Colin with Solutions Pest and Lawn. Ask us how, and then do it yourself.